2019 saw some incredible releases for role-playing games, so here's my top 10 list of RPGs for 2019. So before I begin, I just want to say that this is not any kind of definitive list of top 10 RPGs. This is just my personal top 10 of RPGs that were released in 2019. You know, I'm sure that there are plenty others that I missed that uh, are very, very good. And if I did miss a couple, let me know down in the uh, comments down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please do me a favor and hit that little like button and also hit the subscribe button with a little bell and uh, you'll be notified every single time that we do content like this and whenever we go live. All right, let's get to my top 10 list of RPGs for 2019. Number 10. Number 10 is a 5e fantasy uh, setting. It is by the folks that put out Shadows of Estrin. It is Fate Forge. Uh, this is a really great and beautiful book. Um, I don't play 5e a whole lot, but uh, if I did uh, play more of it, I would definitely want to play more of Fate Forge. Uh, it's just a really great setting. It's got some really great stories that uh, uh, the, are associated with this uh, world that they've built and uh, I'm really excited to have a copy of Fate Forge and uh, I think folks need to kind of take a look at this if they are interested in 5e products. Number nine. Number nine is a game that is I think under the radar of a lot of folks and it's put out by Monkey Fun Studios. It is a town called Malice. Uh, this is a Nordic noir type of game. Uh, it uses the pillar system, which if you're familiar with Fiasco, it, it's one of those types of games. It is a really cool setting, and uh, David did a great job with this game. Uh, I think it needs a little more hype, and I think more folks need to be playing it. Uh, it's definitely one of those games that I think would be great at a convention, and, uh, and yeah, I, I just uh, I really dig it, and I hope uh, more people... Uh, check it out. Number eight. My number eight is Band of Blades. Uh, this is a Forge in the Dark uh, hack that uh, is really, really tight. I really love this game. Uh, I need to get this game to the table. Um, I think that uh, if you're a fan of Forge in the Dark and you want a little more strategic game, this is definitely the game to go with. Number seven. Number seven is Savage Worlds Adventures Edition. Uh, this game just blew up on Kickstarter in uh, 2018, and uh, it was really great to get a copy of it in 2019. Uh, you can kind of use Savage World for a whole bunch of different settings. Um, yeah, I, I think it's very versatile, and I think the new rules just kind of streamlined a whole lot of stuff for it. Number six. Number six is uh, Never Going Home. Uh, it is this really great uh, alternate World War I type of setting where uh, it introduces a little bit of like uh, occult-ish things uh, in with uh, that setting. Uh, again, this is a game that's based on art book and uh, it really has some really cool mechanics uh, with, uh, uh, I think it's called the plus one system uh, where you uh, uses cards and dice. Uh, the cards represent your humanity, so as you play them, you kind of lose some of your memories and some of your humanity. It's a really great system, never going home. Again, another game that I think is under the radar of a lot of folks. I know it did incredibly well at PAX Unplugged uh, in 2019, so, and I know that there's more coming in 2020 for this game, so definitely take a look at never going home. Number five. Number five is a game by Galenite Games. You've seen it on the show quite a bit. I don't want to go into it too much, but it is Tiny Supers. This is a Tiny D6 system. It uh, is really super, super easy to use. Uh, if you aren't a fan of you know fantasy role playing and you'd rather play in like a uh, super setting, Tiny Supers is definitely the way to go. It uh, is super, super simple. It's the Tiny D6 system is like the best way to introduce folks to role-playing games and uh, it definitely uh, is great for like convention games. So number four. Number four is a little box game from Magpie Games which is kind of not usual for them. They usually put out these really big, uh, or not big, but they're really beautiful uh, high quality books uh, for RPGs. This is Zombie World. Uh, Zombie World is uh, really kind of, it's, a, it's card based and uh, it all cut you know, fits in this little little tiny box, 
and uh, it is if you're a fan of Walking Dead uh, or any of those type of uh, zombie post-apocalyptic uh, shows or you know media, uh, definitely uh, Zombie World kind of hits hits that uh, setting just really well. Um, Again, this is another game that it, I think is perfect for conventions. I think you just throw it into you know your backpack or wherever, and uh, you can kind of play it on the go, and it's perfect. I, I uh, really love this game. I think it's really well done, and uh, yeah, that's uh, Zombie World for Magpie Games. Number three. Number three is Black Void. Uh, this is a beautiful book. Uh, another really cool dark fantasy got a little bit of the occult and Cthulhu-ish kind of themes added to it. Uh, it's a D12, it's a D12 uh, system uh, with some modifiers and traits and everything. And yeah, it's it's really well done. I, I know they just announced that they're putting more uh, supplements out for this, this game, this setting uh, in 2020. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, it's just a really, really great game if you like that type of setting. And uh, I think more people need to be playing Black Void. It's uh, kind of my sleeper hit of 2019. Number two. So my number two game shouldn't surprise a whole lot of folks. Uh, it was pretty high up on my most anticipated list for 2019. And that would be Things from the Flood uh, from Free League Publishing. It is uh, the follow-up to uh, a game that I really love, uh, Tales from the Loop. Uh, this game takes... Tales from the Loop and makes it a little bit older. Uh, you play as teens in the 90s, it's a little darker, uh, it's a little more brutal. It still uses that Mutant Year Zero system that uh, you love and that I love about uh, Tales from the Loop and just makes it a little more, more darker. Number one. My number one RPG of 2019 shouldn't surprise a whole lot of folks. Uh, it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, I, I love everything that the, uh, that Free League Publishing puts out. Um, I think that their games are really well done, um, and I love the uh, the Year Zero engine that they that they use for the majority of their games. Um, and when they announced that they were putting out this game in 2019, uh, I was a little hesitant. I'll be honest; I, I wasn't quite sure how they were going to be able to uh, make this game and tweak the Year Zero system uh, to make the the feel of this game and that would be alien the role-playing game from free league publishing this game is phenomenal i, I kind of feel a, a little odd putting two free league t titles at the top of this list but man uh we've played our alien the role-playing game on this show uh, quite a bit in 2019 and it is so thematic uh, it does this great job of encapsulating uh, the alien movies that, uh, especially the first couple that, that, that were put out. Uh, it, uh, I love the stress die mechanic where you're, you're adding stress uh, when you like push your rolls. It's got that, so it's got that great push your luck mechanic. I dig this game. I, I know it's going to be a huge hit for uh, freely publishing. I know that I. They, they sold out of their first print run. They, they're they going with a second run already. Um, and then they just announced that they've got some, some other supplement books in the works for 2020. Uh, I love this game. I can't praise it enough. It, it's just the perfect blend of theme and mechanics. And yeah, if you haven't picked up a copy of Alien RPG, definitely pick it up. I think if you're a fan of uh, those movies, especially Alien and Aliens, you definitely want to play this role-playing game with your friends. All right, folks, that's going to do it for our top 10 RPGs of 2019. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if I missed any RPGs that uh, you were really excited about in 2019. I uh, There were a couple that uh, just made the uh, short list of this top 10. Uh, it was definitely a great year for indie RPGs. Uh, in 2019, I think we saw kind of this upward spike in interest for indie RPGs uh, last year. So I'm hoping that 2020 just keeps building on that momentum and we just have this huge year for uh, indie RPGs. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this segment. 
thank you so much for watching and like i said if you like this type of content please hit that like button down below and also hit the subscribe and the bell notification that helps us grow as a show uh, as well so we appreciate that a great deal this has been victory condition gaming because winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table we'll see you next time bye now